you eat ramen noodles and beans straight out of the can because you're broke, starved for time, and, well, perhaps not of sound mind all the time. College food is supposed to be the suckiest food, right? Not according to a new report from the Daily Meal, entitled 60 Best Colleges for Food in America for 2013. Topping the list is Bowdoin College in Maine, which serves dishes like roasted root vegetables with polenta. Second place, Washington University offers sushi rolling classes. Other schools in the top 30 include Harvard, Princeton, Columbia, Duke, Yale, and MIT. Almost all of the schools on the Daily Meals list also score high in the US News and World Report's rankings of best colleges. In other words, the best schools serve up the best foods. And that makes sense. If you're going to spend 40 grand a year on tuition alone, the least you can expect is a little lobster with treble sauce every now and then, am I right? The thing is, some of these top schools are importing pricey ingredients at the same time they're imposing huge financial burdens on their poorest students, if poor students are able to enroll at all. Stephen Bird of the New America Foundation recently conducted a study comparing how much money colleges have in endowments to how many students they have with Pell Grants, which the government gives to the neediest students. And guess what? The colleges with all that fancy food have lots of endowments, but they enroll a very tiny portion of needy students. Bird says there is compelling evidence to suggest that many schools now use Pell Grant money to supplant aid they would have given to needy students and then shift that aid money toward programs designed to help recruit wealthier students. Students with refined palates who annoyingly call themselves foodies. So colleges are spending more money on stupid fancy food programs like Yale's wine and meal pairing program instead of spending it on helping poor kids get a crack at an Ivy League education and a crack at changing their social status. So rich kids not only get to have their Ivy League education, they get to eat their foie gras too, which is bought and paid for with other kids' financial aid money. And the poor kids don't even get to eat their college-style ramen noodles anymore because now they're no longer able to even enroll at all. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.